I'm Dr. Les Lynette, and I hope to help you understand psychiatric problems. Hello, I'm Dr. Lynette, and we're going to talk about adult ADHD, otherwise known as Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. Most of the talk and research about ADHD has been directed towards children with nothing much more than passing reference to adult ADHD. Although most adults with ADHD do look different from the typical case of childhood ADHD, the disorder always begins in early childhood. Even many children with ADHD do not quite look like the textbook case of fidgety Phil you are about to see. But let's take a look. He's a wonderful boy and a joy and a boo. Ah, gee, you should have seen him this afternoon. Bands, rich life, dull with table, crash went the china train. But he said, I couldn't help but my luck and watch ran away. Press, press went the curtain, play with the window, press went the new buffet. And I heard him tell his daddy, my luck and watch ran away. Typically, but not always, as kids with ADHD mature into adolescence, the hyperactive symptoms diminish. We used to believe that kids outgrew ADHD. However, we no longer believe that. For some people, adult ADHD continues to cause significant adult problems. Unfortunately, many adults were never diagnosed early in life. Sometimes this failure had nothing to do with parental neglect of their child's problems. I've seen a number of cases where parents were simply told that their children were high energy or doing poorly because they were suffering from childhood depression or that the children could do better if they just applied themselves. Furthermore, some adults were not recognized because they simply flew under the radar. This can happen if superior intelligence allows them to learn even to the point sometimes of doing quite well in school. Their ADHD may simply not have been evident. However, ADHD can strike people of all IQs. As a child psychiatrist, I have seen a number of parents who diagnose themselves virtually by accident after their own children were diagnosed with the disorder. Once parents become familiar with what the disorder looks like in their own kids, they sometimes say to me, hey, I think I might have that. But adults with ADHD sometimes do not do well. They may find it difficult to organize and plan ahead, and they easily forget appointments and deadlines. Many struggle to hold down traditional nine to five jobs. Problems generally occur when they cannot find something to hold their interest, which in turn can lead to distractibility sometimes to substance abuse, and even depression if they feel unable to fit into traditional, structured life. ADHD is not something you only have as a child. If you have ADHD, you have it all day, seven days a week, and probably all your life. It can severely undermine the quality of your life. Adults with ADHD have higher rates of divorce, and marital problems. ADHD adults can be fine, upstanding citizens, but they tend more often than others to hold two jobs in their effort to support their families. ADHD undermines functioning, education, attention to detail, patience, and income. Adults with ADHD also have more accidents and wind up in the emergency room more often than does the general population. They are more likely to have driving violations, such as being cited for speeding, having their licenses suspended, being involved in more crashes. They are also more vulnerable to drug and alcohol problems. However, when properly diagnosed and treated, much of this functional impairment can significantly improve.